Hey, what up, my freddies? Welcome back to another Pokemon Showdown YouTube video. I'm your host, Pineapple Fred, and in today's video, I'm just going to be showcasing some BDSP replays uh, because I was just screwing, on, screwing around on the ladder and I encountered this really weird salty guy, so the timestamp is on the screen if you want to skip the commentary and go straight to the salt. But yeah, I figured I don't really have an idea today, so I'm just going to play some BDSP random battles. I'm not really good at it. Um, played a little bit in my time, but you can see I'm very low ladder. So uh, without further ado, let's just start the game. Uh, let's go for a Lava Plume. I'm afraid this thing might have the Rapid Spin. Ooh, Zatu. Good prediction, because I could have gone for the Stealth Rocks, but Lava Plume, there's really no reason not to. Maybe we get the Burn, that'd be great. Let's go for, um, let's go for a Rapid Spin, maybe, just for some speed. Nah, Lava Plume. There's, like, damn, okay. Nah, it's time for the Rapid Spin. We're gonna gain some speed, and we're gonna hopefully do something here, but, uh, you definitely want to stick around till the Salt part, because that shit is fucking nuts. I've never had anyone report me for something so incredibly stupid and just let me know what you think down below and now we go for the stealth rocks awesome and um kind of want to keep the toy call to be honest so let's go to the rotom and then we can thunderbolt and get the hell out of here i don't imagine it using anything other than a water move okay another bulk up we'll take those um do i thunderbolt yes right no will-o-wisp will-o-wisp I think Willow Wisp is the move to go because I'm afraid Thunderbolt might not kill. Okay, and that would have done a fuckload uh, and healed them all the way up if the Thunderbolt didn't kill. So, Thunderbolt coming, yeah, it wouldn't have killed and they would have healed a lot of damage. So, or healed, healed up with a lot of health. And, um, okay, that's the first dub. And I'm going to go into one more battle depending on the length. I don't want to make this more than 10 minutes. So, I'll see you in the next battle. All right, and we're back for the second battle. Uh, sorry if I was toxic last game. I forgot to say GLHF Bud. This thing, probably like a normal random battle set. So Flare Blitz, uh, High Horsepower, something like that. So, uh, my cargo is probably good. No, 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 no. I just said High Horsepower. Again, I do this thing where I kind of rush because I, I feel like good YouTubers kind of have to showcase their speed at thinking. But... Not everybody's a fast thinker, and I should just take my time to go through my thought process. So, <laughs> I saw my cargo, and I saw fire, I was like, okay, pretty good switch, but honestly, Aerodactyl is the best switch. So, in comes the Aerodactyl, Flare Blitz, Hypnosis. Oh, shit. All right, well, <laughs> there we go. Um, in that case, it was probably better to get the Macargo, because the, I, I really don't give a shit about that goddamn snail. Um, it'd probably be better off as food for some people, but... Okay, uh... Calm Mind, Encore, Scald, Destiny Bond, Perish Song... Not, not Destiny Bond, Perish Song. So, maybe we go to the Dry Skin Parasect. If they have an Ice Beam, then they got Ice Beam, whatever. Um, we do heal. Very nice. And let's go for a Spore ourselves. I'm curious to know if they have Ice Beam. What the fuck? Is there no Sleep Claws? There is a sleep clause. Okay, so this person is just very low ladder. I will take it. I mean, I am too, but like, I also have lots of experience playing the game. I just don't play this format a lot. So let's go for a leech seed here. Uh, bringing us to the next point. What is the definition of a smurf? Am I technically smurfing here? But like, I don't really have a lot of experience on this format per se. I just have experience playing the game. So does that make me a smurf or no? Comment down below if you think I'm smurfing. Uh, if I am, then I'm a scumbag. Ice Beam does come in, we go for an X Scizor, very very nice, and uh, I think now is the time we go to the Mag Cargo. Mag Cargo can take an Ice Beam and then we'll go back to the Parasect baiting the Dry Skin. Awesome, do not fucking freeze me. Perfect, we get the health back, back to 100%, Poggers, then back to the Parasect here, and I think we should be alright. Uh, we have a pretty solid team, we got this Choice Scarf Dialga, very fun to use, and I want to get the setup on the Mothim, that'd be pretty pretty interesting. Uh, are they going to go for Ice Beam again? I mean, we saw them try to use Hypnosis twice, so I think they're going to go for Ice Beam, right? Go to the Cargo, yeah, okay, and now they're going to maybe go for Ice Beam again, perhaps? I don't know, maybe Scald. I'm going to go to the Parasect and we'll see what kind of things they do, because with low ladder players it's very hard to predict. Um, sometimes they make some really questionable plays and they're just so obvious that it's kind of, I, I don't know. Let's go for Spore again. Ice Beam will not kill. Perfect because, yeah. And put them back to sleep. And then I'm going to hit up a substitute just to, you know, 
whatever comes in, I can spore again, unless obviously they have a um, dual hitting move or a move uh, or sound based move or in infiltrator. So we go for Exazor and down goes the Politoed. Please do not get a one turn sleep because it'll defeat the purpose of the sub. Uh, of course. Of course, of course they wake up one turn because it's Pineapple Fred and who doesn't love screwing over Pineapple Fred? Uh, trainer TDM, good on you for the one turn sleep. I fucking hate that shit. So, Rap Dash comes back in. Um, they're gonna try Hypnosis again? No, right? There's no way. There's no way they're gonna try that again. Okay, yeah, high horsepower. There we go. Hopefully we get the one turn sleep now. Uh, let's go for a... It's still pretty early game, so let's go for a Stealth Rock. Come on, man. That's so stupid. Stealth Rock again? Please? 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 Um, and we are faster, so it doesn't really matter. I can always heal up with Roost or some... or the, uh, uh, Stone Edge. Parasect coming back in because they are 100% using a water move. There's no way they're not using a water move. I probably shouldn't say that with my chest. I shouldn't say that with so much confidence, you know. If they don't, then I look like a complete idiot. Uh, Ice Beam. Damn. Okay, nice. And, um... Do you have a plus level with a Grass Knot? How much damage? Oh, it's only 20. So maybe we'll go for a nasty plot here? No. We're gonna go for the Thunderbolt. Ooh, Puggers. And then we will Volt Switch. Nah, I'm gonna keep this thing in here because I don't really care if their plus level dies. I can use this to bait out um, the next Pokemon and I can sort of suss out who they're gonna go to. Um, that's why I'm not switching up the plus level. I could have used Volt, Volt Switch and go to something more worthless like the Macargo, but um... Watch Macargo actually become like the god of this team. I did showcase Weak Armor Macargo on the channel and it is fucking amazing. Go check that out if you haven't because Weak Armor Macargo with a choice Sash, oh no, Focus Sash, can actually sweep a bunch of shit and it's absolutely hilarious. So, um, <laughs> now we go to the Macargo because it, it's just the best. Can't do shit to the Macargo. Flame Body, activate, Flame Body. Nah, of course not. Um, don't hate me, Macargo. You're, you're not a bad Pokemon, you're just, not that great. Let's go for a Lava Plume here. Nah, let's go for an Ancient Power. I'm going to switch onto the Rapidash. Ooh, there we go. That's what we like to see. The Sucker Punch, baby. And then we go for Ancient Power again. Maybe we get the buff, you know? Maybe we get the 10% buff. It's not enough to save us from the Rapidash, but it, it'd be pretty fucking funny. So, Rapidash coming in, and... The thing is, High Horsepower is imminent. At the same time, he could also predict, predict that I know that he's going to use high horsepower, so they're going to go for the hypnosis. So this, they're they're in a oh, I'll take that. I mean, yeah, poggers. Uh, let's go back to the Aerodactyl. They're going to use earthquake, I imagine. Right, right, right. Earth power. Okay, perfect. Uh, earthquake ourselves, and this should do. I want to say like. Because this thing is pretty fucking tanky. Maybe let's go 48%. I, I, again, I don't know stats well enough and I don't know the damage predictions very well. So 53% more or less uh, on par with what I was guessing. And it does go down with the Earthquake. Um, looking pretty good for us. I didn't get to use the Dialga, but I think my team was much better. Uh, we got a low roll here. Explosion does not take us out. Um, but yeah, as I said, I, I do believe I have the better team just because of the Dialga, maybe. Um, but the Rapidash and the Dialga are more or less equal, I'd say. It's just that Dialga's tankier, but the Rapidash is a good counter. This thing, I think, might be choice. Could be completely wrong, but, uh, let's go for a Stone Edge here. Please do not be Scarfed. If you're Scarfed, would you be faster? 198, let's just round that to 200. That'd be 300 speed, so no, they would be faster, but... Oh, fuck off, man. Hmm. Okay, life orb. Um. Well, let's go to the plusle. I don't want to reveal the Diaga, just just so I can keep them in the dark, you know. Let's go for a thunderbolt here. Uh, it could kill, or it might bring them low enough that they would kill themselves with the life orb recoil. So, so far so good. Looking really good for us. The Diaga is faster than the Rapidash. That is great. Down goes the pincer, and I think. We should be okay. We are technically three Pokemon ahead of him, but I don't want to get cocky. So we go for the Thunderbolt ourselves. High horsepower, perhaps, but they could miss. Nope. Uh, and then um, Dialga comes in. And Draco Meteor. 
I'm kind of I'm kind of stressing out here. Oh, they do miss the highest power, and I do think we win this. Draco Meteor should be in kill range, right? Because we're halved, and this should be like 31. Okay, yeah. So GG well played, bud. I shouldn't be taking so much pride beating someone in low ladder, but uh, I think this is where I'm going to end it and go into the commentary. So thank you so much for sticking around until the commentary part, and enjoy the salt. Thank you so much for making it to the end of the video guys, I really do appreciate it. If you're a new viewer, please consider subscribing because I do make some pretty awesome daily content, and if you're a recurring viewer and you just want to help the channel out, be sure to go down there and leave a like and a comment on the video to help it circulate. And yeah, with that said, why not watch another one of my videos, and if not, I'll see you in the next one.